क्वांटिटेटिव ऑफ नो डिस्क्रिप्टिव मोर डिस्क्रिप्टिव लेस नो क्वांटिटेटिव दैट मींस 80% वाटर 20% ऑफ दिस आर हां कमी है नाउ सी सपोज यू जॉइन अ एनी सर्वे ऑर्गेनाइज आर को जियोलॉजी जियोलॉजिकल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन जीएसआई और एएमडी दीज आर द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दैट गोइंग टू जॉइन ना सो टू थिंग्स आर इंपोर्टेंट वन इज मैपिंग दिस शुड बी वेरी थोरो अबाउट द मैपिंग एक्चुअली देयर आल्सो यू विल फाइंड लॉट ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी द कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी नॉट बिकॉज़ यू हैव हैविंग मोर सैलरी और मोर गुड लुकिंग और मोर इन्फ्लुएंस एंड नॉट लाइक दिस हाउ मच गुड इन योर सब्जेक्ट यू नो हाउ मच यू कैन इन्फ्लुएंस द बॉस विथ योर यू नो नॉलेज इन जियोलॉजी इन जियोलॉजिकल सर्वे में ने पर्टिकुलर दिस इज वेरी राइट केस यू नो इफ यू नो गुड अमाउंट ऑफ जियोलॉजी देन ओनली यू कैन बिकम वेरी इन्फ्लुएंशियल इन द ऑर्गेनाइज सिमिलरली इन द एएमडी दोस हु गेट प्रमोशंस फास्ट ना दे आर गुड जियोलॉजिस्ट वेरी फ्यू ऑफ कोर्स यू विल गेट यू नो द स्लिप द थिंग इज डिफरेंट पार्ट एंड गो बट मेजॉरिटी ऑफ द पीपल यू नो हु हैव सक्सेडेड इन दोस ऑर्गेनाइजेशंस आर गुड जियोलॉजिस्ट इवन इन द ओएनजीसी आल्सो only competent geologists in the make name so two things are very important you know one is mapping mapping is very important so if you know mapping the principle of mapping you know you can gradually develop now, of course geological survey point is very good thing to learn the basics of mapping the basics of uh, borehole investigation basics of petrography all those things they teach But if you have a good training during MSc or MTech, na this helps there. Now, uh, and second thing is those who are associated with mineral investigation, like geo geological survey of India, and 50% people you know engage in mineral investigation, finding the minerals, and uh, MECL, mineral exploration, perhaps you know, does exclusively mineral exploration. Similarly, you know this AMD. AMD also does the same thing. In after all, all these organizations are meant for finding the resources. You know. So mapping is a very important aspect in geological survey of India. Coal India, AMD, MECL, very very go. You know, earlier you know people used to go for software. Now the software is all closed, and all companies are closed. So you have to go. You have to go for the geological survey of India only. और एमसीएल कोल इंडिया में जाना है सो मिनरल फाइंडिंग इज अ वेरी चैलेंजिंग जॉब इन दोस अदर लाइक आइडेंटिफिकेशन ऑफ मिनरल्स यू नो वी हैव नॉट स्टार्ट स्टार्टेड डूइंग दोस थिंग्स इवन इन एमएससी डेज यू कैन नॉट आइडेंटिफाई इट ऑफ आर्ट आई नो वेरी मच यू कैन नॉट आइडेंटिफाई वेरी बेस मेटल्स यू कैन आइडेंटिफाई बिकॉज़ द ग्लिटर्स यू नो pyrite chalk pyrite you can identify but you cannot distinguish them but <laughs> pyrite pyrite chalk pyrite you cannot distinguish in the field i am telling you know but you can identify this is a sulfide mineral similarly non sulfide minerals are very difficult to identify like gypsum anhydrides fluorides asbestos those things are very difficult to identify in the field but if you have seen once at least no once or twice in the msc days you can do it so these are the things which you have to do in those organizations so you should have a very good training particularly during this msc or mtech period <laughs> if you do not have gsi also of course give the other organization they, they do not give but if a good geologist will definitely you know dominate the promotion point of view making uh, influence you know among senior peoples uh, it helps if you know this options So one is mineral identification or mineral investigation. Second one is mapping. So be very thorough about the mapping techniques. Today what I am going to teach you, you know, something like that, something like that in the sense, you know, uh, it's mineral investigation. So that is how the uh, metallic minerals uh, occur in the nature. So you must have read in this. these things you know in economy geology class now how the uh, base metals or the uh, metallic minerals uh, do occur in the rocks from where they come you should know these things whether they come so like coal is the sedimentary deposit 
और इवन ऑयल और हाइड्रोकार्बन इज ऑल्सो सेडिमेंटेड बट दिस मेटालिक मिनरल्स दे आर नॉट सेडिमेंटेड डिपॉजिट्स दे कम फ्रॉम मैग्मा हाइजिन हेड्स सेडिमेंटरी सर मेटालिक डिपॉजिट्स आर वेरी रेयर दे आर कॉल्ड सिन सेडिमेंटेड और स्ट्रैटिक फॉर्म दे आर वेरी रेयर इन द नेचर इवन दो दे आर दे एग्जिस्ट दे आर they owe their origin to some magmatic activity because all the metallic minerals copper lead zinc gold tungsten everything comes from even the pegmatite uh, vein related minerals they are all related to magmatic activity understand na can you tell me a uh, important copper deposit in india magmatic very important copper deposit in india अदर कपर डिपोजिट्स आर देयर बट द मालाज फंड कपर डिपोजिट्स ऑफ कस वेयर आर इन साइड इगर राइट देयर इज वेरी लार्ज प्लूटोन ऑफ ग्रेनाइट इन व्हिच द कपर नेटिव कपर सर अलोंग विद नेटिव कपर देयर आर चालकोपाइराइड्स पाइराइड्स फॉलो दिस पॉइंट सिमिलरली कैन यू नेम वेयर देयर इज गोल्ड डिपोजिट व्हाट डज दे ऑकर दे ऑकर इन बेसिक रॉक greenstone bed they say so what is their metallic mineral you just say somehow they are related to some magmatic deposit or some magmatic rock so the khetri copper deposit you see it must be related to some granite similarly jaduguda what is jaduguda famous for yeah. uranium what does they occur they occur in the ultra basic rock you know inside is here so but follow this point na Similar, any any metal you put it, you say they are either associated with some magmatic, but there are some sedimentary, as I told you, know, like suppose B I, manganese deposits. They are sedimentary rocks. B I, banded iron formation, you know. What does they occur in the greenstone beds of Archean plate, like Odisha or Dharwa, you know? B I F and manganese deposits. They are not related to any magmatic pluto. they are not related to magmatic pluto they are sedimentary deposits but their derivation from here from some magmatic exhalation like during the formation of the basin you know basin is formed in the extension of the sea so during this extension this magmatic emplacement takes place at the base so volcanic eruptions takes place so those volcanic exhalations you know they provide this iron and manganese to the water to the marine so they are deposited along with other sediments that is why they are called sedimentary metallic deposits sedex bolte exhalated sedimentary deposits but its origin is to be magmatic but to follow this point so like this almost all almost all metallic deposits are related to some magmatic emplacement or magmatic intrusion but to follow this point na Now, suppose in an area you are working, you know, and you are asked to do some mineral investigation. A mineral investigation, so tomorrow we are going to have mineral milega. A poor se jagah daoge, which area you should visit first? Suppose you are working in Arabic area, and you are forced to you see the minerals which are there. He is not asking you to find the quartz and precious stones. Definitely metallic minerals, say like copper, lead, zinc. uranium these are the metallic minerals of our interest so you are asked to do such mineral investigation so aap pehle kidhar jaoge will you go to an area where only the sedimentary rocks are there you should you should immediately go you know where there are some magmatic rocks you should not visit any other area you know you should go only to magmatic so what are the magmatic rocks there may be some basaltic intrusion also dolerite type So ultra basic rocks, they are included. Or you can have a granite also. You can have a uh, dolerite die. You can have a uh, you can have a sienite intrusions. These type of igneous rocks are generally there. Now. So you should visit those areas and you try to see those plutons or the veins or the dikes. So that is the first target of yours. But follow this point now. That is the first target. Now, point is, 
whether only you should see those rocks or any other two, we should also see the host rock. The host rock, generally the uh, magmatic protons, you know, they bring the metals, they bring the material, but they load them in the surrounding host rock. That is how the mineralization takes place. They themselves contain, as well as they unload those uh, metallic things, you know, into the host rock. So, host rocks are the site of mineralization, but same thing, same time also you will get min metallic minerals within the Pluto. But Pluto minerals, you know, are generally less concentrated compared to the host rock. So, follow this point, now. that is why we should see the contact. Contact aureole it is called, contact aureole. So, contact aureoles are more important areas, you know, where you should do the mineral investment. Apart from the Plutons, but you should not go to those areas, you know, where there is no igneous rocks. There is no igneous rocks. You should see the pegmatite veins. You should see the quartz veins. The pegmatite veins and quartz veins, you know, they are the last stage uh, fractionation of granite magma. So the granite Pluton has entered, and the last stage of crystallization or solidification, you know, it produces quartz and pegmatite veins. So those veins you should also see. So this the work becomes easier, you know. You can narrow down your area to those type of areas where the magmatic amplifiers are made. So there is a general preference of magmatic amplifiers to an area. Everywhere you will not get it. Certain areas are there where this magmatic amplifiers takes place. You will not get magmatic amplifiers everywhere in the uh, mountain bed. Certain areas are there where it is more prolific, and those areas you should look for. So, how to narrow down that? How to narrow down that? Either you can look for the entire thing, you know, or just take off an image, Google imagery, or nowadays lot of digital data has come up, you know. You can see those things, and you will see a color contrast from the usual sedimentary bed and the igneous beds or the magmatic ones. That is how you can narrow down an area to the area where of your target. So these are the areas where more magmatic emplacement is taking place. More quartz veins are there, more granitic intrusions are there, uh, basic rocks intruded. So those things you should see. Then you go for mineral investments. Now can you tell me why such areas exist? Why there are certain areas you know which are more infested with magmatic rocks? So magmatic rocks are the later emplacements. Initially it was not there. Magmatic rocks are later emplacements. So that means those areas are marked with certain fractures. Fractures will provide the pathway for the magmatic emplacement, whether it is a big granite proton or a granite vein or a pegmatite vein, unless there is pathway, the magma cannot move. That is the requirement. So unless the area is highly fractured or highly deformed, you know, those things will not go inside. So those areas are more deformed or more fractured. That is why the emplacement is more prolific there. You don't understand up to this point. Now, I will show you some photographs. I will show you some photographs and you see how very important interpretations can be made out of it. Very important interpretations can be made out of these small features. Because your observation you know, will tell you which area you should hit first. Unless you interpret those things, you cannot go to or narrow down your area. So I will show you some photographs and you tell me what are those things. Eh? That is the reason I have brought very uh, many photographs. So you will see a few. I will show you first. This photograph I will show you. Huh? You see what you are observing here, you know. Now, what's the key? Are you able to see this photograph? Huh? 
What are you observing? You see the dice. Huh? These are the dice. You see? see how close space dice are there? Ye, 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 like it. Now, if you Google image, you can see of any cratonic area. Like, this is from which side? This is very close to the place called Bhadra. Very close to that. This is the Thousands of dikes. Thousands of dikes. You will not get everywhere these thousands of dikes. Even though it is a Odisha Kraton or Odisha Singhum Kraton, you will not get these many dikes you know, everywhere. But there are certain areas, you know, where you will get in thousands. So, dikes swarm. So, these are the areas, you know, where the rocks are highly fractured. That is why magmatic emplacement can take place. So, you should narrow down these areas, you know, for your further search. Like, these are the magmatic emplacements. You see? Are you able to see from here? So, can you see, no? Yes. Yeah. So, how the imagery helps? Imagery helps in identifying the areas. So, once you locate this set of areas where these magmatic emplacements are many, don't see there are dikes of one dike, you know, in a hundred square kilometer areas. You will find everywhere. But getting dikes in every centimeter, here this is a scale is very large. But you go to a, you know, go to the field, this one dike, you know, you are seeing one dike, at least there will be five, six or seven, eight dikes in your way. With this imagery is not picking up. It is picking up a certain you know, height imagery, height uh, features. Because of the resolution. So you will get hundreds of dikes you know, in this area, just here. So like this. This is an area you know where dikes emplacement is many. Would you follow this point? No? So why this area dikes are many? Fractures are there. They are mostly Pluton below. Then only dikes would come, no? Understood, no? So this kind of area you should see. So there you can go to those areas and see the country rock. Most rock. Most rock as is the relation kya? Up, so this is an area you know where this gold chromite minerals are there. Chromite minerals were earlier identified in this area, but now they have identified PG group, but platinum group of minerals. So basic is this. Why this area is so much infested with the dikes? So they have brought this mineralized solution, you know, to the surface and affected the country. You know. So, country rock ka under is under relation ho gaya. So, there are very important deposits in this part, you know, in this PG, platinum group So, like this, you know, you should identify. This is the first basic thing, you know, you source for areas where there are many intrusives. You finally can have. Now, I will show you one more photograph. You know. So, this is a photograph which shows, you know, dike emplacement. Dike emplacement. Now, let us go to another photograph. One, two, three. See this photograph and tell me. See this photograph. What are you observing, you know? See, this is an intrusive. This is an intrusive. This intrusive is a pegmatite here. Pegmatite here within mica cyst. Mica cyst can be pegmatite here. This is a small field photograph. But if you go to this area, you will get hundreds. Hundreds of such pegmatite here. And you see, very the minor, minor things, you know, you see. Is the, the. So you see the imagery of this area. This is a, uh, this is a photograph from Ambaji. Understood, na? The Ambaji area photograph sometimes you see. It is a dark base, dark background with white spots. Lot of pigmented veins. Every meter you will get a pigmented vein. So that type of area is important for you. Hundreds of pigmented veins, quartz veins. So quartz vein, pigmented vein, kahan sa hai? Na, na kahan sa hai yaar? There must be some granite proton below, na? Because pegmatite veins and granite veins are generated from granite. Or 